And so we start off the year with a great thing to share, something that we're probably debunking, or at least it's something I disagree with. We don't gasket match, we port match. And so we're gonna show you here, we're gonna have a sample of several heads, a PR3 and even a GSR head. We're gonna show you an OEM intake gasket, how it fits or how it does not fit. And of course, how we port match the head side to the intake manifold port entry or port flange how we get it so equal or at least we try to get it perfectly matched to how the head is onto the intake manifold and you know this one is a good one because this is what we do on every single engine builds that we do <laughs> Okay, here we are. We're gonna show you why we don't gasket match and how we port match the intake manifold into the head. Wait, it's gonna prepare this PR3 cylinder head, this B16 head. We put this aside. Wait, um, all right, there, there. Okay, now we get this big socket. So we use it as a stand so that it's tilted looking towards you guys all right there you go okay now let's get this oem honda p30 intake head gasket i mean intake manifold gasket sorry all right and you'll see how cockeyed it is see and mind you this is already a b16 head that i ported so imagine if it was a stock head right all right see that it's cockeyed it's like it's cockeyed to the left and you know wait let me show you closer here let's go you can see there's a lot of space on the right side which when you invert it is on the left side of course and then here it's there's still space and you know it's not straight and here is okay and number one is off so but this has to be lift it up like this because when you install it gravity pulls it down it lays down on the intake studs right so now you can see it's even more off so when you gasket match this it's gonna be way way off and i agree with dave colaglio of head games motorworks the gasket makers does does not really prioritize cross-sectional areas and all that all they prioritize is the intake gasket sealing the intake manifold onto the head and so they stamp that in general and it's pretty good so get okay, let's let, remove this head and get you the p72 gsr that i own and show you guys also as i just showed you the intake gasket we made for the p72 gsr head all right all right here we bring in the gsr head and tilt it towards you guys you can see it better all right there you go wait a minute oh no, sorry might fall oops sorry sorry there you go and we use the piece of cardboard cardboard to cut the intake gasket you know what's funny other people locally would laugh about you know they'll just say no they just use a paper gasket and whatnot not understanding that we do this to, to actually port match it even better so what do they use just because it's oem does not mean it's correct like it's especially the intake gasket look at this because we cut this off based on an OEM casting, not the OEM intake gasket, it's perfect. Ta-da, Kabila May, yeah. Okay, as we remove the head, let's spray this desk with a bit of ethyl alcohol just to make sure it's clean and dust-free and oil-free, of course. Let's get it good. All right, swipe it, all right. You see this on the intake gasket. We have we usually cut our own on a folder or a cardboard. Look at this. All of the stuff that we do, sometimes we leave the pattern with us just so in case that 
you know, let's say the owner has to change intake manifold. Yep, we can port match it easy. This one is from my ESI, the D16A6. So we keep those. And you know, that's this way it's a pattern, right? It's gonna be good. And I'm sure, I, th I think on the V8 world or in the V8 scene, this happens, but also on the VW scene, this is a 040 OEM dual port head. And this is Mofoco's OEM style 040 copy. And look, it's a round port and it's very, pretty good, right? So the aftermarket intake manifold from MP or CB Performance is this for the Webers. You can see the gasket is also round just like the intake flange, right? See? So this one works, right? However, if you actually run a CB Performance wedge port head, which is awesome, by the way, you can see the intake ports. It's called wedge port because of the intake ports. It's shaped like a wedge. And this flows really, really good. And so when you think about it, this aftermarket the intake manifold is not quite port match on the intake side, right? Look, that's round. That's not a wedge. And so this needs a cut gasket like this to match the head. So this lets you match the intake manifold onto the head just like this. So that's port matched, right? But that's also where the confusion may have started because when you think about it, this is actually considered gasket matching the intake mold, the intake manifold towards the head, right? And that's correct. You know, when you think about it, the terminologies and even the sentence is correct. But that does not mean it has to carry over towards imports like the Honda. We can't just port match or gasket match the intake manifold with the head because a lot of times the intake gasket does not align well, right? So here is what we do. We draw off the intake gasket pattern onto a piece of folder or cardboard and get it close to how it should be. And look, here's what we do. And let me put the PR3B16 head on the desk again to show you guys. Here we did a blank one and the already a cut one. So we'll show you now. Let me remove the head. I mean, move the head here to the desk. Here now, we put the intake gasket that we did that's still blank on the ports, all right? We gotta put this, well, we gotta, install it slowly so that we don't tear it up and make sure it's aligned straight and it's going to be consistent all right okay there you know we do a bit of jump cut just to avoid making it boring all right there's getting close gotta put it slowly so that you know it's resting well and properly now we grab the intake gasket that we already cut and install it slowly again and actually we just you know do a bit of jump cut just so that you can get to see what we're trying to show you guys here see there now it's installed properly then we get a pen we speed it up a bit we do the outline because the intake gasket that we're using as an outline is actually what the head or the b16 head is perfectly so there you go all right now we remove this and before we show you guys onto the intake manifold we're gonna reinstall the P30 OEM intake gasket onto this cardboard sheet that we did earlier, the blank one, so that you can see how far it is or how far off it is, all right? And okay, here we go. Let's check it. You can see it better. You can see how far off that is. Let me put it closer for you guys. See that? that's way off so if you gasket match using the oem intake gasket that's like you're twisting or making a, a unequal turn or position for the intake ports now okay now here's the gsr header we did and here's the blank intake gasket that we cut up or, or patterned you know okay we're gonna put this here we do a bit of jump cut so that it doesn't get too boring all right and then we're gonna put the intake gasket that we did way, way back. This is patterned on the stock GSR head, all right? So again, as usual, we draw the line on the pen, with a pen onto the intake gasket blank, all right? So we can see what exactly it is based on the actual core of the head. 
not the intake gasket like even if it's OEM it's gonna be off okay now here we can remove it and we check and we show you guys the line is good I mean the drawing is good right so now let's go to the next one and okay here we cut up the intake gasket that we marked up or we drew on okay now we tilt it up or slightly sideways or as you can see and we put the GSR skunk to intake manifold onto it and show you guys the next step that we do okay get this slowly onto the cylinder head all right it's not aligned wait 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 oh there all right now of course we get the trusty pen once again where is it where is it okay there okay we speed this up so we get this line that's why we cut the intake gasket a little bit bigger than it should so that we can draw an outline here and even on the underside there you go this way when we put the intake gasket onto the intake manifold itself or by itself because the dowel holes of, of the bolts are too loose you know you might misalign it by simply using a nut and bolt so here now you can see we got the outline of the intake manifold flange all right so we take this off slowly do not tear it off and then we'll show you the next step all right let's go hmm. and here you can see the intake gasket is off the head you can see the outline of the intake manifold flange right okay now we're gonna bolt it on to the gsr intake manifold on the flange here you can see it's bolted on i'm not sure you can see the outline that we drew i hope you can see it because i can see it right here right even the underside we aligned it well so this way we know it's how it fits on the head right and look at this now you can see how we actually port match the head i mean the intake manifold perfectly into the head because now you can scribe a line to follow what ma how it matches to the head itself right that's that simple okay now let's go with the pr3 head and the p30 intake manifold okay now here we are now we put the intake gasket that we cut good after the pattern all right let's go get this quick but carefully because you don't tear up the bolt holes and whatnot because then it'll be like impossible to align it there you go okay now we drop in the p30 intake manifold that we're currently porting here you go it's for b fab in florida all right yep there you go okay and now we're ready to put the outline of the flange onto the intake gasket this way when we bolt it up earlier or later you can see the alignment so we're, we're gonna do that and show you guys okay let's go grab the pan and now of course speed this up yep 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 there you go we're getting the outline good this remember this is the reason why we make the intake gasket slightly bigger than it should this way we can do the outline of the perimeter so we can align it better later there all right done okay now we're gonna bolt this to the p30 intake manifold here it is all right look as you can see we've perfectly aligned the intake gasket to the perimeter of the flange of the intake manifold there and even on the underside that we shown earlier on the gsr head look yep we got it good right now look at the flange itself on port matching it look how much off that is right so yep that could use a lot of help and it'll be improving the efficiency of the intake manifold we actually did this in the stock VTI rebuild, you know, that's perfectly port matched too. And I'm sure you guys that watched the series would have known that because I said it there. There you go. And onto the throttle body, it's a lot simpler because of course on on the 70 millimeter or, or 74 millimeter throttles, it comes with a gasket like this. But of course we still retain some throttle body gaskets that we made and some are oem because the 60 millimeter is often used on a single overhead 
or D series in Lake Manifold if it wants if, if the owner is going for the B16 or even type R in Lake Manifold I mean throttle body so you knew you know we got to do 60 or 62 so you know you got to subscribe because this is all the good stuff that we share and of course you can also click here for more